Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. There you go. Who you watching? You watching your ex? Somebody is over you, or maybe you getting over someone, Gemini. So let's tap in. Uh, what I was getting uh, before I started your reading was somebody's trying to run away from their karma. This could be two karmic twins that's trying to run away from their karma, from what they did to an energy. Because I feel like divine intervention is at play. Yeah, so divine intervention is at play. So, And I feel like somebody's trying to run away from their karma, but it's coming. Somebody's karma is coming very fast, quick. Mm -hmm. It could be coming to a Queen of Cups in reverse and a King of Swords in reverse. This could be energies. Yeah, something is about to end. And I'm also hearing lights out. So either somebody's lights could be getting turned off or something here is lights out for energy. Lights out. Somebody's like, yeah, lights out. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Look, the Ten of Swords. Something here about lights out. I don't know. Eight of Swords is here too. Maybe somebody could be going to jail or they lights. You know how they control everything or you don't have no freedom in jail. Maybe somebody's making their preparations or trying to have everything like uh, together for when they go. So that way when they get out, everything will be like in motion for them or something like that. But I feel like people are going to, like, reject this person and not deal with them. Well, well, well. What do we have here? What is the overall energy? There go the emperor hopping up. So you could be an emperor. You could be an emperor energy, Gemini. You could have significant Aries placements. You could be a boss. You could be a father figure. You could be a CEO or not. Or you could just be embodying the emperor energy, uh, Gemini. You know, rather, you're, it's in your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus. Or in your Vedic astrology. So let's tap in for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Vedic, please. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Vedic, and North Node. Sun, moon, rising, Vedic, and North Node for Gemini. What's the overall energy for Gemini? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors protect me as I give Gemini these messages. Any and all negative energy being sent to me shall be returned to sender. Let's go, Jim. What's the overall energy? It's Forcer. We have Forcer here. So I don't know what that is, y'all. Something here is, it's like this. I need a um, new whatever, okay? It's just, it's on there. Let me see. I don't know what that spot is. It's not coming off. Maybe it's like some type of, I don't know. All right, inside school. Somebody's trying to force someone and to give them their business. Like, whoever this is, they're in their ego, Gemini. Somebody's like forcing someone like, oh, you have to give me this information or you have to tell me about so-and-so we have forcing things on you forces that way uses force to get what they want and like somebody's being very nosy or they're trying to get all up in your business it could be two people all right yeah because somebody here is moving on and i feel like somebody's like no nah, you got to tell me their information like tell me what's going on inside scoop it's like somebody's like forcing someone like tell me this or tell me that or or whatever or something we have travel this could be two people that that's like in their ego we have an impersonator that's always partying yeah i feel like somebody is thinking about someone so much or dreaming or fantasizing about someone so much that they block some type of love triangle and they're ending it they're like no nah, i'm dreaming about that person i'm thinking about this person so I'm moving on from this impersonator that's always partying or like I'm fantasizing about my person, but they're blocked. Whoever this is that's fantasizing about their person, they're blocked from that energy. Because I'm getting somebody here isn't like they they like third parties. And I feel like whoever this is, they're dusting it off. Someone's like, no, um, I don't want to deal with no third parties or you no know, lovers triangles or none of that. So, what's the messages here for Gemini? We have hope. 
and to somebody's like hoping that someone will, will force them or they're hoping that you could you will force them or something like that or force them somebody's trying to force you into competition like were you going to compete with me, compete for me, or or something like that? Somebody's addicted to people, like, arguing and fighting over them or competing for them. I don't know who the fuck this is. And I feel like these energies go and do that dumb shit, too. Whoever this is, they're getting a tea about competition. Or let me learn about my competition so that way I can always win. It's the impersonator. Let me learn about my competition so that way I can always win or that way I can always be a step ahead. The thing is about an impersonator trying to learn to impersonate someone else, you're going to always be a step behind that energy. You're never going to be a step ahead. How are you going to be an impersonator 555 or trying to be like somebody, look like somebody, or try to copy somebody's style or... And then it's like you try to be 10 steps ahead of them, but you're copying them or you're trying to impersonate them. So let me make this make sense. So you're trying to make it seem like whoever the impersonator is, because I know they're probably watching. The impersonator is trying to make it seem like that you are the one that's impersonating them, but they're impersonating you. So wait, no, you're copying off of me, but I'm copying off of you. But let me go and get some scoop on you so that way I can see how I can win this competition because... It's redundant. So, yeah, it's over. <laughs> a final decision has been made. Yeah, so somebody's like, no, I'm not being nurturing. I'm not being a caregiver. I'm not being a caretaker. I'm not giving you shit. I'm not doing nothing for you. Yeah, so a mother could be getting some type of raise, bonus, a purchase, or a win, Gemini. Let's see what's the overall energy. Let's, let's get more energy, not the overall energy. We have ghosted. Yeah. Somebody's in their ego because you left behind, left them behind, or you moved on from this energy, or you cut communication because they're enemy. Yeah. Somebody made an enemy of your angels and ancestors, man. Or somebody made an enemy of an angel, literally an earth angel, somebody that's very protected. They guides watch over them. They made an enemy of someone's angels or they made an enemy of someone here that was sent to either get them on path or have them to go through some type of awakening or realization. Mm. This is why this energy is trying to run away from karma because they was hating on an earth angel. Somebody that was very protected, intuitive. And it's like their ancestors. It, this shit wasn't flying with whoever ancestors this we is. All right. This person is like mad because their their um their prayers get heard. I feel like if this energy wasn't so judgmental or very hostile, then somebody this is like an energy that hates themselves and they hate earth angels. Like it's giving like weak as fuck. <laughs> We have soulmate. Somebody goes to their soulmate or they want to go towards their soulmate. I feel like somebody is in their ego. This could be a couple that's in their ego because somebody wants to ghost this person that they're with and they want to travel towards their soulmate. But the, yeah, listen, the Ace of Cups and the Empress. This soulmate and somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody could have Libra in their chart, Taurus in their chart. But this Ace of Cups is somebody's wish fulfillment here in Gemini. And they want to go towards this person. This is their wish fulfillment. This Somebody here could be pregnant as well. Don't have to be. But I just feel like whoever this is, this is someone's wish fulfillment. I don't know what was on top. Was it the Ace of Cups? Yeah. So yeah, Forcer. Nine of Wands. Somebody's persistent on forcing someone to like believe something here what's this inside school four swords i'm picking up somebody's like i want to know where you lay your head at i want to know i want to know like i want to know or somebody's trying to like meditate on your energy ten of cups travel the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles whoever this is that wants to travel towards their soulmate they're out in the cold or they've been ghosted we have the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles i'm getting somebody's holding on to the fact that either you ghosted them or they're holding on to the fact that this person is soulmate has ghosted them mm -hmm. but there's like trying to control something here what's the nine of wands 
six of swords. It's like somebody's persistent on moving on, but an energy is like, no, you have to stay with me. Um, somebody here is being guided to leave or to transition and leave some type of baggage behind. But there's an energy that keeps forcing some type of connection that's already dead and done. We have the star and the magician. Somebody, this could be an Aquarius that's a practitioner or a Virgo or a Gemini or somebody with them placements here or somebody believes in their magic or they believe in their gifts. Maybe their gifts are very fast or like somebody here is a believer or they're a firm believer in, in gifts or in magic or somebody believes in magic. Maybe this could be you or maybe you're waiting for some type of miracle to happen or somebody's trying to manifest a miracle here, Gemini. That's what I'm getting with the magician and the star. Somebody's manifesting a miracle or they believe in miracles or something here is going to be a miracle for them. To close out a cycle. What's the Six of Swords? This could be someone here trying to escape someone that's trying to force them to be in a relationship or a connection. We have the Empress. Yes, yeah, someone wants to move towards their Empress. Just period. They do. They're in love with this person. But they could be worried up all night because they're hurt in a situation like with the Three of Swords because somebody here is being ignored. Somebody's hurt that their Empress is ignoring them or they're not talking to them or they don't want to talk to them because I'm getting they must to hurt this Empress. Or this empress could have been like a, a wounded healer, but they want to come towards them. Somebody is not, they're not giving up. This could be a Sagittarius, Aquarius, a Libra, um, Pisces. We have Taurus. Or have those placements. You could be those signs. You could have those signs in your chart. What's the empress? Six of swords. So, yeah, somebody here is, like, trying to get the inside scoop. Yeah, they're regretting. Listen, somebody here lost their person. They lost their soulmate. They lost their empress. So, it's like they're hoping and anticipating for the future or they're waiting or they're believing that something here will be restored with this person once they begin healing within or something. We have the five of cups. They feel crazy. I feel like somebody is very down, pessimistic, or could be a Scorpio. Somebody's very sad, feeling jaded, um, like, you know, Gemini, they are. Somebody's feeling very jaded, like unloved, like nobody's paying attention or they're ashamed about what they did. Yeah, because I'm getting they still want to come towards this person. What's the five of cups? Why are they feeling unloved? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you the will of fortune because they're going through a negative cycle right now. This person, it could have been trying to run away from their karma, but yeah. So with the seven of wands, someone here has either attacked their own empress or, you know what I mean? Now it's just somebody here doesn't want to collaborate and don't want to work together anymore because they know what the high priest is. Somebody knows that this person is their twin or their, they want to reunite with them. They know who this empress is to them, but this is why they're in the five of cups feeling very jaded. They're either they're going through some type of negative cycle from something that they did to their empress. That's just yeah. Yep. And it's like they could be doing this on re they're thinking about this on repeat, like damn, I shouldn't have did that or whatever. What did this person do to this empress to be going through this negative cycle? What did they do to their empress? Mm. A tower. So, um, Gemini, somebody tried to create a tower for this empress. You have the magician, but this blew up in their face. Mm -hmm. So somebody tried to create a tower for this empress, or they tried to have this empress experience some type of chaotic event, all right? Or they tried to, they just tried to make this person have a hard time. This is why they're going through a negative phase, why they don't have no money or luck is just not on their side. I'm getting somebody here could have started a fire too. This came out in Pisces reading. Yeah, so somebody could have either like burned somebody's house down or started a fire or 
attempted to do this or they tried to cause some type of chaos, violence, where somebody's foundation was robbed or they tried to do something here or they tried to expose this empress or I don't know. It's like they tried to expose this person or do something like real reckless. But I feel like the tables have turned in their, in this empress's favor, but the table is turned for the worst in whoever this is that has started this. We have the Scorpio Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, and they tried to watch to see if their manipulation magic was going to work and it didn't. It didn't. It, what happened is they ended up taking taking a loss or taking an L from trying to do this or force this on an empress all because they were hurt. I don't know. Either because they were ignored or it's like they were unreliable anyway. 15-15. Somebody was unreliable anyway, Gemini. And I feel like someone wanted this empress to have a tower moment. This could have been like a repeated tower this person wanted this empress to have. And I'm getting like, nah. So now they're trying to get the inside scoop by dreaming about this person or meditating. Like, is it really, really over between me and my empress? I'm getting yes. The situation has to be accepted. This empress is moving on to be with someone else, a new love. And that's just what that is. No divine masculine of this empress is going to like give them, want to give them a tower moment or to have their foundation shaken up. That's a distorted masculine. And I feel like whoever this is, they was parting with this Jezebel energy. They could be trying to move on from this impersonator now. They was trying to get this person, their impersonator, to be an empress, like their natural, authentic empress. <laughs> and I'm getting this not working. So now they're curious. Yeah, the page of swords, the five of swords, they're curious. Like, hmm. But they're still in this win at all costs type of energy. What's the four of swords? Somebody's just hateful, the lovers. Yeah, somebody's trying to get a con um get some type of inside scoop on this connection, Gemini. This could be your energy or somebody's dreaming about making love to you. I'm getting Gemini Libra energy. You know, Gemini's and Libras, that's a good pair. <laughs> but somebody's thinking about making love to someone. Or they're thinking about their body or how beautiful this person is or being in a partnership with their person. Or this could be the same sex. What's the lovers? Somebody here is in love or they're thinking about this spiritual union or they're meditating or contemplating on a spiritual bond, a union. Here, this could be like two kindred spirits. Maybe you you, you and this person have kindred spirits or this is your soulmate. But someone here is unwilling to change something about the past or the past is just, it's just not changing. Something here that was done, something that was done in the past, it, it the past it, it ain't changed. This is like some an energy that was supposed to come in. They came in as a gift in someone's life with the six of cups. This is like usually give support. Somebody came in as like emotional support or a gift, and they treated this person like shit. With the death card in reverse, they they refused to change. Scorpio energy here. They refuse to change. They refuse to, you know, uh, strip away worthless matter with the death card um, in reverse. Or they feel like something isn't over because this could be a past life soulmate. Okay. Maybe somebody's learning about past life soulmates or twin flames and things like that. One thing I stopped doing is romanticizing twin flame journeys. And I feel like I've been very much like better on my journey here. Hello, I'm busy. I'm, I'm working. Okay. Is it chart? Yeah. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, so um, what I'm seeing is someone here did not ex like check or someone thinks something isn't over like they were able to they're able to come in and reconcile after getting some type of inside school. All right. I feel like one person made peace with a situation and the other person's like, nah, it's not over. Yeah, I'm still not changing. I'm still not doing none of that or but I'm coming in to reconcile. What's the Ten of Cups? <sighs> So if someone here is in a commitment or they heal something with a family dynamic or they're believing. It's like even though they're in their ego or their ego is always getting in the way, they always they, they still believe in this ten of cups. 
What's the star ten of cups? Somebody here believes in like no matter what, no matter how many times I've been betrayed, no matter how many times you talk bad about me, I still believe in a ten of cups. That's because I'm giving or somebody here is giving to a situation here. Somebody could be paying someone to stay with them or this is like, let me pay a nigga to be with me type of energy. Six of pentacles. Yeah. Let me pay a nigga so he don't move forward to be with somebody else. Let me do this. The four of wands, the queen of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign that could be investing in you or this is like somebody here paying i'm gonna pay your way or i'm gonna pay you to be with me so i don't know what's going on this could be like a paid ten of cups like somebody's paying to have a ten of cups a family dynamic but this is the reason why they believe in this ten of cups dynamic even though they keep getting betrayed backstabbed you talked about um cursed and all of that it's because they allow it. Just simple. It's like someone sold they soul for a jelly roll or they sold they soul to be in a stable, committed relationship instead of going up and getting it on their own. So they're going to forever, it's going to forever be repeated ten of swords. What's the ten of swords? Look, the six of wands. And this is someone here, they like, man, I get victory in cursing you, betraying you with the six of wands. I feel like everybody sees that this energy gets betrayed. They get talked about. They get done dirty. Um, they get betrayed. Like I said, bad mouth. Everybody sees it. The six of wands. This is like an energy being praised for talking bad about energies. Like talking bad about a person or being two-faced, being fake. What's the six of wands? But Or, or whoever this is now, I can look at it in another way. Gemini, this energy could be getting, um, it's like, whatever this, this betrayal was, it's like the outcome is someone is having a victory moment here and in the midst of a betrayal, in the midst of a ten of swords, somebody trying to backstab you. You could be coming out as the six of wands, escaping this. I feel like something here is ending for good with the ten of swords. This is like the, the utmost betrayal. What's this? Somebody here has been trying to curse somebody's platform or getting someone to stop, like, all because they're in their ego. They've been trying to curse somebody's platform with the Six of Wands to get someone to stop getting recognition, attention. They've been trying to dead that. What's the Ten of Swords, Six of Wands? Yeah, the magician. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody has been trying to curse somebody's platform. It could have been an earth angel or a Sagittarius that has been trying to do this, but they have been caught with the hey man. Look at this Sagittarius here that's pretending to be balanced, poised, but they're very much detached or somebody here is detached from their angels. Their angels and their guides have detached from this person because of so much magician work they did or so much magic they did to curse energies or to bind them or to have them in this repeated like darkness ruin or, or to have someone to collapse we have the knight of wands in reverse somebody here has a lot of scattered energy it could be a sagittarius or aries that's heavily unreliable or things are moving extra slow so this is why they want to come in and offer an apology or they want to come and kiss your ass so that you can give to them with the six of pentacles yeah so the magician could be a Gemini, it could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or whoever. Who is the magician? This is someone repeatedly cursing someone. We have the King of Pentacles. So somebody's cursing somebody's business. Mm-hmm. Or whoever this is, they're cursing someone's finances here. And this could be a couple that's doing this. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is under judgment. This could be a whole family, a whole bloodline that's under judgment. Or a whole bloodline could be stuck within an Eight of Swords. If someone here is not actually like freeing their bloodline. All they think about is money. They're money hungry. Could be a Taurus. I'm picking up the, uh, Mr. Scrooge. That just love money, 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 money. Or Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs love money. Okay. But I feel like somebody's whole bloodline, their whole bloodline is under judgment. Or they done trapped all of their ancestors. Look, the Eight of Swords in the Moon. The Seven of Swords. Somebody's bloodline is trapped, stuck because of this person. It's like they need to set their own, they own bloodline free. And they keep being bribed for money. They keep being bribed with money, possessions, nice things, cars, clothes, shoes, and all that stuff. What's the Five of Pentacles here? 
So I feel like, yeah, with the Hermit, somebody was double ghosted. Virgo Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. It's like they were ghosted, but they're still holding on to this energy. What's the Hermit for? Five of Pentacles? Or somebody's like, well, why did this person? Yeah, somebody's being heavily ignored. They're like, nah, I'm not talking to you. And I didn't want to attack this person because they see them as a blessing or a new opportunity. Or somebody here has gotten a new opportunity on their own. We got the Empress here, period, again. The Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This is Empress energy. You got the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody here is like going towards someone or they're going towards their ex. Could be a Libra, could be a Virgo. Because somebody here has an opportunity or they have something like tangible. This could be an opportunist here. Even though the King of Pentacles is coming up in the upright. I'm just not really picking up no like, mm, all right. This is someone here that you could depend on though. That's very responsible. They're secure or they're stable. Mm. Maybe they don't have any options anymore. Yeah, somebody's holding back. Or someone here was able to tame the beast. Like, this is like an energy like, well, I'm going to teach you how to treat me. I'm not talking to you. I'm ignoring you. I'm not saying shit to you. You're going to learn the strength card. And it's not necessarily like taming. This is like an energy that needs to be fucking tamed. They need to be. We have Leo energy. The cycle is closed with the world card. They made a judgment call. All right, somebody made a judgment call to close out the cycle or somebody's higher ups, their ancestors did with the judgment in the world. I, my camera had cut off. So let's get some closing energies here that's going on that you need to know. All right, this thing I want to go in. We have divine feminine is celibate and staying to herself. New love will earn her heart. Okay, so your divine feminine to my divine masculines. We have a Rico law here. Hmm. So my divine masculines, I knew it. Somebody here may be getting locked up or <laughs> something here is lights out. This ten of swords is literally lights out. But anyway, there's a your divine feminine could be staying celibate. Okay, or this divine feminine is staying to herself. Okay. So somebody here is celibate. Knock knock, open the door. Somebody wants to come. Um somebody could be popping up at in someone's house here. Coming to realization, you're their twin flame. Went to a reader and they confirmed. There could be a karmic water sign, a, a Scorpio Cancer or a Pisces that's receiving some type of delays here. You could be dealing with someone that's very curvy, voluptuous, IJK and L. An Aquarius woman is receiving instant karma right now. We have fraud. Yeah, somebody's going down for fraud. I told you. Rico Law Fraud. Something here is going to be brought back up. I'm picking something here, picking up something here also about an indictment. I just want something sex-based. Yeah, your friend mad because I smashed and I'm not in love with her either. I feel like somebody here has met true love, but they betrayed true love. He can be with anyone he wants, but not divine feminine. I want to give you the world. It hurts me knowing someone else may give it to you. I'm not even into the karmic sexually. Somebody wants to spoil you and shower you with gifts. All right, Gemini. So whoever this is, divine feminine. Yeah, somebody has court fees as well. I'm going to leave it there. Um... Gemini, place yourself where you belong, okay? So somebody's not dealing with their divine feminine. Their divine feminine is celibate, but they know who their person is. They know who their true empress is, all right? They came out right over here. I'm getting this person is not with them at all. All right, so Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if it resonates. Okay, love you, bye.